Hello everybody, good morning. Um, it's Monday the 30th of September today and um, it's raining, raining hard. A lot of flood warnings again, so won't be much grilling going on this week, I don't think. So I thought I'd get the uh, one of the bigger diggers in over the pit to, uh, to service it. The engine sump, so we're going to drain the oil out of here. And then uh, we'll have a look at the filters around here in a minute as well. Oh, what do you want? There's no concrete here today. We'll see you next week. When we also look under here, if you unscrew this cap, it then it's got like this spring release mechanism and you can screw a pipe on there so you don't get it everywhere. So you can screw the pipe on. And as you screw the pipe on, it pushes this spring in and then you can put it into the oil thing without it going everywhere. But unfortunately, I don't have that, so I've got to, I've got to unscrew it like this. Get this. This is the oil drainer. If you watch the pit videos, you'll have seen this. And then this is my, uh, this is my crate I've been standing on. Move this to here. Unscrew it. I don't know if this is going to make a mess or not. Shame that didn't go a little bit high, really. Should be all right. Well, that goes to there like that. Then hopefully, we'll just undo it and it will drain. There we go. How about that? Look how easy that is, doing it in a pit. Otherwise, I'd have had to been laid under here on my back in the dirt, trying to struggle with all the muck going in my eyes. Whereas this, it's uh, really easy. So we're going to drain this oil. Whilst that's doing that, we're going to have a look down the uh, bottom at these rollers, and also we can get the blade as well. Gives us a good opportunity as well. If you can see these rollers here, get my iron bar with a hook on the end, and we can give them a little to make sure that there's nothing, no play in them or anything. Because usually you'd have to do it from the other side and get on your knees and do it, whereas here I'm completely stood up. So check all them, they're all alright. And whilst we're here as well, these grease nipples here that sometimes get like uh, full of muck. For the blade, for this big blade here, we can get to them and grease them now. So that's another bonus. There should be two more on these end of the rams as well. They're not too bad to get out, but it does make it easier down here. And that is now pretty much drained. I'm going to check the end. They've got like a magnet on the end of these sump plugs. And you can see if there's any like bits of iron filings in there and everything, but that's that's pretty clean to be fair, so um, that's good. But yeah, this, this, isn't this a good design look? Where well, you got like this spring in there. Shame we didn't have a pipe, I'll we'll have to have a look at getting one of them. So I'll give that a bit of a clean. Change the, uh, change the washer and do it back up again. See, this is the great thing about Volvo diggers. They put all the filters together. I mean, what a brilliant idea. One, two, three, four. Don't put them all around the machine so you've got to try and find them. Just put them all in one place. So much better. So much better. This one here is the uh, engine oil filter. Let's put this strap around it. Uh, just give him a bit of a loosen. There we go. He's coming. And that's that one off. Look, it's nice and easy to get off. It's not down the side of an engine, completely covered in oil somewhere. Oh, it's just... I mean, how long's that taken to do? Two or three seconds? No, not quite that, is it? Maybe 15 seconds. Oh, look, engine oil. Done, in there. Next one. This is the diesel pre-cleaner. Then we've got the hydraulic one, and then we've got another diesel one. And we can literally service the whole lot in minutes instead of mornings and days. 
Come on. There's that one. Fuel filter off. As easy as that. That's the big diesel one out as well. And we've just got that little one next to it to do. Not quite yet. This one's got a glass bowl on the bottom. They usually just want a bit of a clean out. There we go. There like that. Fuel filter, we're going to take this glass bowl off and put it on the new fuel filter. But how easy was that? How long did that take? Literally, I've just got one hydraulic one just around here. But that's it. Why can't all manufacturers do that? The bottom here, can't quite see it. You do just get a bit of a bit of build up, not a lot. Depends how clean your fuel is. This is quite good actually. Just give that a bit of a wash out, and then you want to change this this seal as well. So we've got some new seals with a new filter. We've got one there. There's one there. No, there's one on top of the diesel filter instead. There's either one usually in here or on top of the diesel filter. Interrupt the servicing in the rain because an unexpected lorry turned up and I don't want to take all the seed out in the rain either that's on the trailer ready to go. So I want to dry around everything to uh, get in the heat. Go. Great thing about this bucket is, in the rain, it doesn't take half an hour to load any load a lorry anymore, and, and takes five minutes. Because we're getting sort of, well, definitely a weight. I think about four point two ton in each bucket, so it doesn't take long to load a lorry at all. What we have to keep doing, he's got an automatic sheet on the lorry, so every time I dump one of these big buckets in. He closes the sheet for five or six seconds or 10 seconds, however long it is, because it's so quick and it's hydraulically powered sheet. And it stops the rain going in the, uh, and just like that, we're done. So we're back after loading the lorry. Got a seal, goes on there, like that. Is it going on? Yeah, she's on. And what we do, so we don't have to uh, prime the filters as much, we just get some diesel and just pour it in over there like that. Yes. But we're all right. I'll clean it and I'll get a pen when I'm done. And I'll write the hours down on the side of the filter here. I put them in a book as well, but if I um, put them down on here, when I'm going around it having a look, I know when the next service is due. Every 500 hours on this usually, this is a 500 hour service. So we don't have to do track motors and hydraulic oil um, changing all that on this one. This is quite a straightforward service to be fair. Nearly there. Don't have to fill them right up because the, the priming will do the rest of it. There we are. And then that just screws. I'll oh, just want a bit. Of, just always put a bit of um, bit on the seal just to make it slip a bit better when it goes on. And that engine oil filter. Don't usually have to prime this one. Just put a bit, a bit around that seal there, make it slip, and it goes on here. Like so, having that big JCB bucket at the time, I thought to myself, I was like, oh, you know, what on earth do I need? Do I need this big JCB for? And um, it's actually turned out to be, you know, an amazing bit of kit. Really, this is the engine oil. Getting rid of the filler up. And then, got the uh, engine oil up here now. Down here. Just take, give a smell the engine oil. See what it's like. I've got to try and get that in there without spilling it all. Here we are. I only spilled a little bit and I've just wiped it up out of there. So, it's all right. Any normal person would have used a funnel. But, um, yeah, I haven't. Last jug. I'm only one half a jug. Why didn't I use a funnel? 
most normal people would have done, wouldn't they? But I've been so annoyed about UPS with these valves coming. If you're a regular watcher, you'll know that um, you'll know that I've been waiting for some parts from Poland, and um, we're not getting on, we're not getting on very well at the moment with waiting for the parts. So um, yeah, it's been really frustrating, really frustrating. UPS still, they're in the country, they're in the UK. Nearly, what is it now? Three weeks? Three weeks ago I ordered these parts these for this bale blaster. And I just want to get on with it. And, uh, oh, they, yeah, they've told me now. They want an import tax. They said, oh, we're going to, we need a hundred, 110 quid import tax. And I'm like, right, okay, whatever. But, um, unfortunately, it's one of them things. How we're looking. Literally near the top. We need to go a little bit over maximum because that oil filter will probably take a litre. That oil filter on the side that we uh, that we filled up, we'll, uh, we'll put a little bit in for that and then we'll run it up and then we'll check it again when it's been running for a couple of minutes just to make sure we're about right. Check the engine water as well. Got the cab filter to do, got the air filter. Might, whilst I'm up here, I might as well grease it. It's got this bank that do all down the boom. And we've got the... Um, Milwaukee grease gun, which come from AgriLink at uh, Bourne. Thank you very much. Very good. This is one of those bits of kit where you think, well, I could have done one of these years ago. I used to have a Sealy one of these, and it was an abs it was absolutely crap. Whereas this is actually really good. So, just give it a few pumps. Next one. Do this quite a lot. Don't weigh pins and bushes out as much then. There's quite a few grease nipples on here and you need to know where they all are. So that bank goes to all these different, like one there like that, look. Another one up the top there on that one. Um, yeah, we've got some more down there. What are you doing, cat? Yeah, stay out of the way. Um, check all the seals, they're all all right. Then we've got the air filter. Yeah, that one's doing. Then the pre-air filter as well. They never use you that bad. But we'll just get, yes. That one's doing. We'll just get that and slide it back up. Put another one in. And then the cab filter as well. I can't remember where it is on here. I'll have to find it in a minute. Next thing we're going to do. Oh, you see we've just been there, done them grease. That greasing bank. There's a few more to do down on the quick hitch yet. Um, hydraulic oil filter. Apparently don't need doing for a thousand hours. So uh, that's good, that one. But it's ever so easy to get to, just to screw it off, put another one on there. Just been under there to do the engine, as you've seen. A few other bits down there, a few bits of bushes we need to pull out. So we'll start her up. There we are, replace engine org. Went 28 hours over service. So, um, right. I didn't like that. I think it's because it's low oil pressure for a couple of seconds. Just let it prime itself or do whatever it wanted to do. Should go now. There we go. Engine oil light has gone off. Are we on? We're all back to normal. We've got cameras all round as well so we can see where we're going. Down the pit there. So whilst we've just let the engine all settle again before we check it, I'll stick this on these rear. Oh, look how easy that is to get to. I'll wait for the grease to come out of this one. Isn't this easy? Just stand there. You have to try and crawl through here sometimes and then try and dig the hole out when it's full of soil and try and fix it. Put plenty in it. And then we'll get it out. I can't check the hydraulic oil yet because the boom's got to be in like the damn position. Oh, it all started coming out, look. I'm just talking to everybody. 
So yeah, we'll check the uh, hydraulic oil when it's outside. You've got to have the boom in like a, a a position where it's like properly down with the arm right out, or else um, yeah, it's not. Don't get a right reading in the hydraulic oil tank. Right, we'll get it outside. The siren's a bit annoying, isn't it? But you have to have them on certain building sites. So there we have, quick service on the digger. Doesn't take very long. Try and keep everything up to date as much as possible. So what's it doing? Where's the weather, what's the weather like where you are? What country are you in? I like asking this question because it interests me quite a lot because I get a lot of uh, a lot of good comments back and uh, everyone else can read them and uh, we can all have a look, see what's going on around the world. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video, a little bit different to usual. So see you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>